Well, His Excellency Bobby Wine, the president of NUP, has been accused of painting a very bad picture for Uganda on the international scene. I'm coming up with the details. Well, more information has emerged from Geno Salim Saleh's camp. Fred Kajubi Lumbuye could be right, the man is no more. But I'm coming up with the details. Well, the former vice president of Uganda has warned President Museveni that he's about to be overpowered by mafias in his government. I'm coming up with the details. Well, my name is Melad Milo, aka Fuller. Subscribe in case you haven't, and also tap on the bell for all the notifications. I told you, you got the buzz, you got everything. <laughs> Now, YouTuber MC Ibra and a presenter at Spark TV has been attacked so big time by Ugandans on social media after putting up a post that was kind of attacking Fred Kajubi Lumbuye about the death of Geno Salim Saleh. Now, people are saying that they knew Ibra is NRM project, but they just kept quiet. Basically, he's been insulted so big time on social media. If you really want to confirm what I'm talking about, you can check his recent Facebook post. Everything is right there. But also, this picture is trending so big time. According to reports, this picture was taken on Friday at the function of Geno Salim Saleh's daughter, Esteri. But if you look critically in the left corner, the late Ugandan politician Eria Kategaya, who died in 2013, is also in the picture. I hope you can see him right there. Now, Ugandans are questioning that how come a person who died a long time ago in 2013 is in a picture that was taken last Friday at a function? You guys, you recall that question in high school that the dead are not dead. Discuss. I think this is what it meant. Anyway, does this mean the photos and the videos of Geno Salim Saleh circulating on social media are edited or they are for a long time? Man, Fred Kajubi Lumbuye could be right or wrong according to the way I'm seeing the situation right now. Anyway, this is a story that I'm following up so big time and I'll be keeping you posted right here on The Buzz UG. Now, the former vice president of Uganda, Professor Gilbert Bukenya, has warned President Museveni that the seed of mafias he has allowed to shine in his government will one time turn against him. Now, Professor Gilbert Bukenya, who was reacting to the assassination threats on the Speaker of Parliament, Right Honorable Anita Among, said there is a certain group of people in this government that is ready to kill whoever they see that he or she outshines them. He added that the group is helped by machinery in the media who are ready to blackmail whoever they see could be a threat to their mission. Professor Gilbert Bukenya also revealed that this group has infiltrated even the security organs. He however warned that this will bring a very big problem to President Museveni if he does not find a solution before things get out of hand. <laughs> Now, His Excellency Robert Chagulanyi Sentamu, aka Bobby Wine, is on the spot again, this time around for tarnishing Uganda's reputation on the international scene. Bobby Wine is held responsible for uttering disturbing remarks and spreading propaganda against the government of Uganda, something which the foreign ministry says scares away tourists and foreign investors from launching impressive establishments in the country. Horrible Okelo Oriam said Bobby Wine's act of talking irresponsibly against Uganda does not only hurt the government in power but also the population in general because, you know, such remarks scares away investors and tourists. I think this is when Bobby Wine says Kaskali Keiko Bakaurida. <laughs> Anyway, that's the latest information coming from the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, particularly from Honorable Okelo Oriam. Subscribe in case you haven't, and also tap on the bell for all the notifications. My name is Melads Milo, aka Fuller. It's a bye for now. Thank you.
audio jungle.